December 13th, 2020. I'm Jeff. Who's your bear? That's right. I am your bear. I'm Damon. I don't brew the tea. I just serve it. And that makes me Gary. Everyone else is thinking it, and I just say it. And welcome to Comes Out Loud, the Bear Podcast, and Vintage Urban Lights, episode number 581. And perfect start of the show. Haven't had those in a while. I just want to say. Should we, should we applaud? Well, <laughs> maybe I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it's something like that. <clears throat> uh, they, but you know what? Uh, Do you get a perfect intro? Is one of my favorite things. <laughs> Lovely. And it was only five seconds, so it should be five for a copyright claim. <laughs> or not, getting, <laughs> not getting one, I should say. I mean, I mean and again. It's a claim. It's usually just a claim. It's not a strike or anything. It's no big deal. Anyways, moving on. Gary, can you explain what 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 we're talking about with with this? Uh, well, idea? I had asked if y'all were interested in this idea that um <laughs> we're kind of late to the train on, I guess, because uh, other um, YouTube channels and uh, you know individuals kind of put out a list. You know, Miss Oprah, she was kind of considered the originator. Mm -hmm. um of her oprah's favorite things and so i was watching some videos recently um in a field that i don't really have anything to do with but every once in a while i get a good idea of like oh that has some application in a different way or i hadn't considered that particular like step or hint or something so anyways uh, i asked if y'all were interested in, like just talking about some of our favorite things um you know that we enjoy and if others are interested they may want to check out for themselves or for a loved one um i realize with the date that it is already uh and it being um 2020 <laughs> as it is um that shipping if people were to look purchase some of these items as a gift this year that may not necessarily work out if you're trying to hit uh 12 25 as your date however if you celebrate differently like maybe around new year's or you are Russian Orthodox, which is later in January. Um, there's plenty of options, or these could be birthday gifts or whatever. So, mm -hmm. yeah. so basically, we're just going to run through some things that we personally enjoy uh, and like, um, have recommendation for. And if you hadn't known of them before, now you will. And I see our list is kind of varied and over the place. And some of these things, I'm not quite sure. Uh, do, I know of them. Do before. you kind of want to do a round robin, kind of like to, to spread it out, or do you want to just just like start from the top of the list as it is on the sheet or um we could probably round robin like first 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 and then yeah like well, not well, that we ranked them but they're yeah, in a, in an it's, order it, of... it's just how they are on here there's not numbered or ranking there are no rankings in the show today i know so just just to say so uh i think we should there... just go ahead and start with damon since he actually has four and Gary and I only did three, but I mean, <laughs> technically you did five, but you know, the first two kind of go together. There was not a limit. Yeah. yeah. I think we all understood amongst the three of us to keep it short and reasonable. And I don't mm -hmm. think five is outside of that realm. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. You know, I, but again, but your, your, your first one here, Damon, mm -hmm. they kind of go together. The first two, right. so yes. I would call that one. Yeah. Thing. So, um, as I've mentioned several times this year, uh, one of the things I've been getting involved in, uh, or have been watching and catching up on and actually have caught up on is um, Critical Role, um, the online D&D, &D, uh, I don't want to call it a podcast, I'll just call it like a show, um, where nerdy-ass voice actors do Dungeons and Dragons. Um, nerdy-ass voice they've been actors on for... sit around and play with Dungeons and Dragons. Get it right. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to be brief, but whatever. Um, um, anyway, so they've been going. They've been going at, at it for about five years, and their first season was a team called Vox Machina, and part of that explosion of popularity, they were able to do an origin series um, comic books. So, my links are for the Vox Machina Origins one and uh, Volume One and Volume Two, uh, which tell a couple of tales of the early days of the org group. Um, I believe it is canon in relation to 
Vox Machina yes, it is. and what they've been doing. So um, it's very cool to kind of know that. I've I've only read through the first one. I have the second one. Um, and it's it's just very interesting to me um, that this show about D&D has gotten very popular and so much so that they've, you know, they do, um, well, not so much this year, but um, they do um, live broadcast. Um, they do like from the, from a stage in an auditorium with a bunch of people. Um, and now they have their even, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They even have the, uh, this comic book series and they've actually recently per um, published a book, um, that is more nonfiction kind of talking about how it all began and, and, and where they're going now. So, um, I will uh, own, this has been quite a fun, um, thing to catch up on slash um, enjoy during the quarantine. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. um, and that's kind of one of the main reasons why I picked it was that it's a good, you know, story and it's good um, writing. And if you are a fan of Dungeons and Dragons or fantasy, like if you're watching um, Jeff's um, podcasting Bears, um, Twitch Bears channels, and Dragons. Yeah. Bears and Dragons, which, then this which is kind is, of a. If you're on YouTube, there's an entire playlist called Bears and Dragons. Exactly. So if you're watching it, um, you can, um, you know, this is another kind of, you know, way to kind of get into it. If you're a fan of D&D, um, are good storytelling. Like, I will admit, one of my favorite things about Critical Role in general is their storytelling. And they're doing a really good job, especially this season. Um, and they were able to, after a while, finally get back into doing their um, weekly um Twitch um, shows, um, which but are pre-recorded. It took a while. Still, yeah, I mean, they're pre-recorded, but it's they're not they're live, but they still still stream it. And um, I, I I think I'm appreciative of it because they could have just taken a long hiatus and not done it at all. But I don't know if they really wanted to do that. So, no. so that's my first pick. Mm -hmm. Uh, hopefully next year at this time I'll be uh, linking to the, uh, the, the Le uh, Legends of Vox Machina the, the television series. Mm, that's Amazon right. Prime. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, the, that, keep, that was the thing I kept forgetting. Like they're, they're putting on a fucking they, show. They, they did. They, they did a Kickstarter for seven hundred and fifty thousand mm -hmm. for an animated special. Special. One episode. Uh, and ended up getting 11 million, breaking the record for its category, mm -hmm. eating out MST3K. Yeah. They essentially, they raised, I think, either 3 million or whatever in the first 11, day. yeah, yeah. It was like 3 million. And then, like, by the end of the campaign, there were over $11 million. Yeah. So, and, and then it's very popular. Then Amazon picked them up and ended up getting going from a twenty-two episode series to two seasons of twenty-two episodes. Mm -hmm. Something it's it's insane. It's uh, and and now they've got a a uh, charity foundation mm -hmm. <laughs> and they started a gaming company, <laughs> tabletop gaming company. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, crazy. they're doing a lot. It's very crazy, and I'm I'm I'm. One of the things that I've watched, especially, because I watch a lot of things on YouTube and whatever, and one of the reasons why this is one of my favorite things is because it's kind of boiled into my life as, like, I, I'm enjoying watching and seeing what they're doing. Um, uh, they're doing, for lack of a better phrase, they're doing what they love, mm -hmm. in a sense, and they're getting paid to do it, you know? For lack, you know, for lack of a better phrase, they're getting paid to do what they love, which I think any person would 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 love to do in their life. So, kudos to them, kudos to that. That um, so this is an example of the American dream. Yeah. So, but yeah, but yeah, these comics, uh, not to 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 sound one uppy or anything, but uh, I got these out when they came out uh, originally. I, I got it digitally, but you know, the money yeah. still goes yeah. goes to them. Um, I, and I've been I started 
I started reading this. It's actually I started reading this. Um, I got it a while back, and I set it on the dining room or the coffee table in the in the living room. Mm-hmm. And my original intention was, oh, I'll get to it eventually. I'll get to it eventually. And then COVID hit, <laughs> and I was, it was like, hey, stopping. great time. <laughs> Oh, perfect time to like pick up something and now, like, start watching. Now like, I can reading. read this without having to worry about anything. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And, and uh, Vox Back in Your Origins basically tells the story of what happened before they started streaming it because there was like a few mm-hmm. years of, of gameplay that happened before they started streaming it with uh, Game uh-huh. Summary. So, it, which True. is one of the reasons yeah. why it's called Vox Machina Origins. Origins. And now they cool. have. The Mighty Nine Origins that will be coming out soon. Also that, yeah. 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 I actually saw it when I was looking for the link. Um, they have pre-sales for the first one, which I think is Caleb. Mm-hmm. Which I think it's means nothing like, to you. Uh, Gary, especially. Gary's just been h- yeah. hanging out anyways. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, the, the two of us just started, started fanboying. Gary, <laughs> what's, what's your first pick? Um, so actually, I realized that um, all of my picks come as recommendations from others. Uh, mm. So in this case, uh, the item is a piece of apparel. I'm actually wearing it right now. Oh. Um, so there's a uh, YouTube uh, personality individual by the name of Grace Helbig. Um, and she uh, is basically a comedian and actress, but she's done a whole series of things over the years. And I happen to follow uh, one of her. Uh, channel uh, series that she does as um, she also has a whole series of podcasts with some other people that I follow but anyways last year at about this time she recommended this uh, ho- oversized hooded sweatshirt it's called the comfy it was actually on Shark Tank I think um, as an item and basically they are super sized sweatshirts um, their most recent uh, product line that they're really kind of pushing is Sherpa lined. Um, but I don't want to sweat like <laughs> crazy. So I actually um, got <laughs> this about a year ago. Um, and it's basically just a, made out of fleece. Like it's, you know, your typical fleece sweatshirt material. But it's like 6X, 7X. Um, and this is, this is just the XL size. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I noticed that, so my links are going to be to Amazon um, I noticed that they have a whole series which I don't remember this from last year but it makes sense um, where they have the Comfy the Comfy Dream, the Comfy Original Junior which is for kids uh, the Comfy Teddy and the Comfy Hoodie and then I also apparently now they have accessories they have like little socks, booty like um, slippers or something so um Anyways, uh, when this came up and Grace talked about it, she was like, oh, my God, this is the best thing ever for the Latin Ground House, this, that, the other thing. And I was like, eh, what the heck? Like, I'll check it out. And if I hate it, I'll just ship it back right away. Um, but I honestly really do enjoy this thing. It's my go-to. Like, like you know, how, you know, women back in the day would um, wear, like, a house coat or a muumuu. Mm-hmm, like, just mm-hmm. something to throw out or whatever like this is my weekend relaxing at night after work like it's un- unfortunately um <laughs> <laughs> sorry i just read owen's <laughs> comment in the chat so I. <laughs> comfy booties. booties now there's a product what name <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah so uh but yeah basically it has uh the pouch um I believe there are some that are zippable uh, and like, you know, they made a pink one for Susan G. Komen uh, for breast cancer awareness. So, I mean, there's, there's lots of different uh, kind of options and, and stuff like that, but uh, yeah. So Grace has kind of talked about it. And the only thing that I've, that is probably my one criticism is that the, the pouch here is high, like compared to a traditional sweatshirt where it's like down on your waist, mm-hmm. this is more like up on your belly. Like, and ah. I think there's a strategy behind it. I just don't know what it is. Well, if you look at some of the pictures, it looks as though it's meant to be kind of like you're, you're you snuggle in it, like you're literally like right 
knees to to the chest kind of snuggling in it so it would make sense that that's up a little higher possibly but all the same um mm. this looks fun and um i might I mean, be getting one this is also okay this is also how i like i've liked clothing just in general mm -hmm. like i i don't like tight jeans you know, mm -hmm. it's, it, it says it's a, it, the slim fit, which isn't necessarily means like like slim as in, in actual like slim people, but it's just it fits right against your your leg, and it's supposed to be if you get the right fit, it works works perfectly, and and right. kind of looks good. But I've always liked the jeans, which are are a little bit baggy. And like one of my favorite sweatshirts is my Viking sweatshirt for that. I think it's a size or two too large and it's just like super baggy and such. It, and it's mm -hmm. just, I just feel more comfortable in those. And I, I think for me, I didn't necessarily get the fashion jean. I got the comfy jean. I just like yeah. being comfortable. So that having, is... having something that's a size too large or uh, uh, is perfectly fine for me. I'm like, uh, it's a little big, but uh, I'm comfortable. As long as I'm comfortable, well, that's that's all I care about. It, is that it's depending part. on depending on your personal size depends on how big this is on you. So when you talk about something yeah. being like one size too big, I'm like, well, if you're kind of of an average build, that this like you're gonna swim in this, but that's the idea. Like, mm -hmm. and that was part of the thing that I liked about it. The grace was like, like. If you want to have fashionable, you know, slob day, this could be a consideration. Um, you know, it's like it was made for comfort to be worn in like the home, so to speak, like that you're just lounging around or whatever. It's not meant to be practical to take out into public because then it does look like a day dress made out of sweatshirt material, um, <laughs> you know, with a hood. So, um, but, you know, and uh, most of their stuff right now, it does seem to be um, out of stock at the moment, though. The uh, original kind of hoodie of sweatshirt sweatshirt <laughs> material um, is available right now, and they usually range like between uh, thirty and forty, I think. Um, but I'm really pleased with it, and like so, I made a point of like making sure I did laundry this morning and I washed it so it would be nice and clean and presentable for the podcast because. Um, <laughs> Nice. You know, not that I'm a slob, but you know how it is. Like, if you wear something around the home all the time, then, you know, you yeah. tend to, like, drinking it, eating it, and whatever. Mm -hmm. and then, mm -hmm. so. One so, of yeah, my favorite, that's... like, one of my favorite things to wear is, like, lounge pants. Like, big fucking lounge pants that are, that just fit at the waist and are just, like, huge and baggy. Mm -hmm. um, and... And I'll put on a t-shirt and I'm good. Like, that's what I wear to work now because, you know, COVID and mm -hmm. I'm working in an office. Working from home. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so like, um, big, comfy, loungy, like, shit. And, like, this that might be warm. For somebody who, who gets cold. <laughs> right, right. Mm -hmm. I was mm -hmm. just going to say, in response to what you were saying, David, I will say this for folks. Um I find it comfortable where I'm the type of person that wants to wear a sweatshirt in the winter um, to keep warm or to like throw on an extra layer or, mm -hmm. uh, you know, have a robe. Um, so if you're that type of person who wants to keep warm, I definitely recommend this. If you're a person who keeps to the hot side naturally, um, I would not necessarily recommend this only because – uh, well, unless you maybe get a zip one, if you can. Because I'm thinking if you need to, like, try to take this thing off, it is just like any other sweat hooded sweatshirt. Like, it comes up over your yeah, head. and you're going to have to take it off. Yeah. Right. And then if you're, like, sweaty, and then you, like, you know, need to cool off. And then you go to put it back on. Like, so. mm -hmm. But if you get the zip one, you can at least vent. Well, sure. right. Like, you might be able to, like, take it off a little easier, as, as I guess is what I'm trying to say. But, um nice. Yeah, so for me, like, I've realized this is probably my winter go-to, like, mm -hmm. from now until, like, the snow is melting. This will probably be one of the things I'm always wearing around in the home, so. You like to... being comfy. Anyway. There you go. Well, I mean, and there's, I mean, there's two things. The name is kind of cute, 
and their logo is of a panda in a hoodie. So oh, 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 oh. yeah, true. I was like, oh, okay. That that just completely, you know, tugs at some people's heartstrings. Just, but I was really yeah. pleasantly surprised. Like I ended up ordering it. Um, I want to say around this time last year, or right around Christmas, maybe. And then I got it in January. Um, but yeah, like I'm, I'm very content with it. So mm-hmm. it looks fun, and it, you know. Especially like the potential larger sizes I could see being, if it gets larger than, you know, I mean, it probably comes in one size. Like it says one size fits most or it says fits all. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm a pretty big dude at the moment and like it fits fine. Like it's not, you know, getting uncomfortable or whatever. Oh, uh, that's cute. But they have it. One of the good things about Amazon, though, is, uh, you know, they'll allow you to return it. So, um, or at least most of the stuff, I've not hardly seen anything you can't return. Um, but in case you, like, you try it and you're like, uh, no, this does not fit. <laughs> so Just remember, it's supposed to be super baggy and oversized. Yeah. Right. I mean, that, so, but that's where I know, a, like, even as a bigger person, you sometimes might struggle to find something that fits. Mm-hmm. Okay. Meaning to be baggy because it has to be that much bigger. And so I think this is a, a good kind of lounging, relaxing thing. It's funny, David, you talked about pants because I was just thinking as I did laundry today, I was like, I haven't bought lounge pants in a couple of years. So I might be kind of like on the lookout for just some comfy, like, you know, mm-hmm. fleecy, pajama y type <laughs> pants for, you know, in the wintertime because that's usually the only time I wear them. All right. Mr. Jeff, your. My thing? pick is probably the most expensive on the list, or oh maybe my, not quite as expensive, uh, because I am I say the HomePod. Oh. Now I'm going to put a caveat on this. While I am individually linking to the original big, but three hundred dollar uh, HomePod. Uh, now that they've got the HomePod Minis, that's kind of like the side recommendation. But I'm mm. linking directly to this because that's what I have. I, bef- got I I got my HomePods all before the HomePod Mini even came out. So I, I, it, that's the way it is. And I have two of them. One uh, in my living room and one in my bedroom. And it's okay. great. Uh, I, I know it's not like the most functional of all the smart speakers. Um, it, it, there's very, it, it has a limited range. Like if you get an echo, uh, device, uh, it has a lot of skills that you can add to it, um, mm-hmm. uh, to add additional functionality. Um, and this is all very much in the Apple ecosystem. So we kind of have to be in that, or maybe this is your individual thing. Um. Uh, having an, an iOS device is one of the things you really kind of need to in order to set it up. Um, so there are some caveats to it, but mm-hmm. I, I really enjoy this because there's there's plenty of things like uh, works great with my Apple TV. I can use it as the speaker instead of my TV speaker, and it sounds amazing. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it's great. Uh, I can even do things where where I basically have my Apple TV played to both of my HomePods. So no matter where I am in my house, I can hear what's going on. So if I'm watching uh, watching a YouTube video, but I need to want to quickly run to the restroom or, or, or something, um, the sound, I don't lose much for sound because it's all over. Mm-hmm. My, because it's essentially all over my apartment. Um, so it's, and it, it, I can do things like, I'm not going to save the name in order to avoid anybody's product from, from going off. So I'm going to use the word Apple. <laughs> so I could say something like, hey, Apple, play my garbage collection playlist everywhere. And what it will automatically do is it will pull up my, my uh, through Apple Music, uh, it will pull my... Uh, a playlist called the garbage collection and it will play it on both of my home pods mm. at the at the same time all sync so i can just kind of like walk all the way around the house yeah. and i get the get the sound i mean i'm in an apartment so it's 
I probably could be able to hear it and everything. And it sounds, sounds great. What I kind of want right now, just to kind of really fill in everything is to get a HomePod mini and put it in my bathroom. So then I have like a little bit more All because there, there's still kind of like barriers and, and that such mm -hmm. uh, to that, to really fill out my, my apartment, my kitchen's like right over here. It's kind of part of the living room area. So it's, it's not like I need one in the kitchen as well, but, mm -hmm. um, well, I, mean, I don't need one, but I want, <laughs> want one to kind of fill things out. It, it, it wouldn't necess be necessary for that. Um, but the sound quality and even like when the when I heard about the HomePod Mini, I went to check on reviews on how people think. And they're like, hey, for for such a little thing, because I think it's like this big, it's, it's tiny. Um, mm -hmm. apparently the sound is actually really, really good. And, uh, so I, functionality is one thing, uh, for me, for what I want to use it for, it, it has everything that I want to use it for. I mean, there's a couple things I would probably want to use it for, I, I would like to have for it, but, uh, uh, but like, like I would like to say, Hey Apple, good morning, and then have it automatically give me the weather, and then uh, list off maybe some t just like the headlines of a couple top news stories, and mm -hmm. and maybe say if that I have anything on my calendar for anything. You know, I would like to 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 set something up for that, but I haven't been able to figure figure that out, and uh, it's I, there. I think there's a way to do it. It's just really tricky. And none of like the ones that people have made do what I want it to do. Or they say, Hey, you can copy this, but it doesn't have exactly what it wants. So it would have to go in and, and correct it. And it's a little difficult. So if you're just looking for something for quick access to Apple music stuff that you can just do, do by voice, a speaker for, uh, a, you're an Apple device, anything that would be airplay. If your smart home devices uh, are compatible with um, HomeKit, uh, then those should work out. And that's one another thing that I would like. I would like to actually replace my lights and my my lamps to uh, be some sort of uh, HomeKit compatible bulbs, so that I can connect them and just be able to do say, hey, hey Apple turn on the lights or when I walk into the apartment now I might return the lights on or something like that. So, mm. so it has, has functionality. I think it, I, I think from what I've heard, it's sound wise, at least it's the best speaker on the market. Function wise, nice. you probably look for better options, but I've got HomePod. Mm. That's why I'm saying this is one of my, my favorite things. So, Cool, cool. Do your research for what you want to do with it if you are are. So it's not for everybody, but that's my my rant on home pods. Again, it, and and you don't have to do home pod, you can do home pod mini. It's fine. I just really like my home pods. So anyways. Nice. Damon number two. Ah. Uh. Da, 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 going back to it. Da, da, da. Oh, um, the thing I'm using right now. Um, the the most recent purchase I've made um, uh, in regards to both podcasting and videoing and stuff is this selfie ring light. 10.2 um, inch um, selfie ring light. It has a stand. Um, um, I am honestly surprised at how often I have used it. We're actually using it with Jim and his um, virtual Santa stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, yeah, like I, I, I will admit, I did not know how bad I looked <laughs> prior <laughs> to getting it <laughs> until I happened to be like looking through um, the videos and like, oh, wow. Ooh. Because I, you know, I've been recording from this spot for a while. 
And um, normally I just have the light up above me as kind of the light that I use. And yeah, there's lights in the room, but that doesn't really count because. But I now have. Yeah, it wasn't enough. And I, it's clear that it wasn't enough as I look at video today and, you know, maybe a week or, or a few weeks ago. What a difference. And the reason, main reason I got this um, was because of the uh, men's chorus. We were doing virtual, our, our virtual concert stuff. And um, I was having the hardest time, like, lighting myself. Um, I would record in my office because that was the, to me, honestly, the place that is the quietest. Um, cause you know, if Jim was working in the kitchen while, you know, or whatever, or we had the TV on in the living room and we needed a solid background and it's the one that kind of had the most solid background. Um, cause I have shit all over the walls and stuff. So, um, um, uh, it's not shit. That's rude. Um, I mean, but know what you the mean. main, mm. yeah, but the main thing being, um, I just needed something and the only light I had in the office because the light is in the middle of the room up on the ceiling and it's probably fluorescent it probably is awful like um and it does it's backlit i was backlit really badly and the only other light i had was a desk lamp you know mm. like the the circle round like one light kind of flashing yeah um that does it really work on this skin um, <laughs> and most skin, honestly, let's just be honest with it. Cause you know, flash back um, is awful. Um, so I did it for, I did a couple with it, but I was like, I need something else. And I found this one it was on sale on Amazon. So I was like, fuck it, let's get it. And you know, I, I know I'm going to use it cause I knew I had the podcast, but I'm so fucking glad I did because um I mean, look at me. You're pretty. <laughs> look absolutely stunning. Um, so I'm I'm really glad and, I got it. And I and of course everybody can see this because when you tilt your glasses are right, you see the, yeah. the reflection in the ring light. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I will say that was the only thing, the only problem I had when um, I was doing the videos for the chorus, um, our holiday concert was, um, yeah, because. You know, surprise, surprise, when I talk or sing, I move my I move my face. So I had to... You're very expressive. I, yeah, I either had mm -hmm. to take my glasses off, which I did for a couple of them, or look like dead at the camera. And that's never really worked for me. So um, I ended up for, I think, a few of them having my glasses off. But that's fine. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, one of the things I did when I... so. FYI, just kind of put Side in a shameless plug. Um, the Men's Chorus um, Holiday Concert is now live um, on um, YouTube. Um, you can look up Cincinnati Men's Chorus and you'll find it. Um, it's only 45 minutes, but it's a great holiday concert. And it was a labor of love and it got put together and it is fun. And I am really fucking happy with how it came out. Um, so if you can, go check it out. Um, it is free. Uh, we are taking donations. You can, there's links in it to like click to get to you know to donate. But um, you can just drop it and and start watching it. It's it's some fun music and it's good times. So there's that. There you go, Gary. Okay, so uh, mine is uh, comes as a recommendation from another podcast. Uh, if you remember the show on Discovery Channel called Mythbusters, mm -hmm. um, Jamie Heineman and uh, uh, Adam Savage uh, were the two hosts. Jamie is the the daddy of the two with the big walrus mm -hmm. mustache and the beret. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Not him, the other one. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> Adam has a whole like uh, tested channel, like created a company, has been doing all this stuff. And many years ago, he and uh, um, Oh, his name went out of my head. Uh, Norm, and then I'll think of the third one. Anyways, they would do a year-end like favorite things, and um, they ended up talking about this company. So the company's name is Zojirushi. That's Z-O-J-I. 
R U S H I. Um, and they make a whole series of, of different things. And one of them that I'm a huge fan of is the 16 ounce uh, thermal mug. Um, and you can uh, get it in a variety of colors. Um, so there's an Amazon link that's going to be available. Um, so it's a double wall uh, style to help uh, retain uh, in cold. There's a lock mechanism on the flip top cap. So if it's in the lock position, it won't pop open on you. Um, and then there is a release mechanism with a little spring, which is handy. It has a seal, um, has a sippy kind of edge. And then this piece actually pops out for washing. Um, and oh. it, it is literally one of the best thermoses ever on the market. Like I have put hot liquids in, like I'll make tea in the morning and it will last me from 7.30 till probably close to 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Wow. And then the and it go and it works in both cases. Like it's just not a hot beverage. Like if like I've had some stuff I've made in the summer, like you know tea or whatever, um, like iced tea or a lemonade or something, and put that in there. Like and it, and then it does a great job being cold. So I've had this thing for probably five years, maybe. And what's mm -hmm. comical about it is the first year I got it and the first week I fell in love with using it, I immediately was like, I'm getting one for everybody. Like, yeah, everyone's just going to get one as a Christmas gift, whether they need it or not, because, God damn it, it's amazing. <laughs> um, I kind of backed you're away like, from that. <laughs> so You're getting one. You're getting one. You're getting one. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I remember you talking about this mug before, and I, had I, it, I have it saved on my... Um, on my um wish list on amazon because i i love this idea of this like especially for hot stuff like if it's gonna last pretty much like most of the day like yeah. that's amazing because i know i'm not I'm, I'm when i drink coffee in the morning sometimes i, it, I don't drink it all at once i, I mm -hmm. sip and 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 you know take you know drinks here and there uh, so at certain points and i know my boss in particular probably would like this um at a certain time you know the coffee gets cold and gross and you either have to go reheat it or go get another cup uh which can be you know costly potentially but also kind of meh you know sort of thing so i really do like this idea um these do come in, in different sizes. This is, I believe, the 16 ounce. I keep looking at it all over. There's no measurement size on this. Um, I think this one's the 16 ounce. Uh, the one thing I did learn is, because I love tea, um, and I'm more of an herbal kind of uh, tea person or a green tea individual, like, I quickly learned, don't overheat what you're trying to put in. Like, oh. like sometimes at a thermos, you're like, oh, I want my coffee to stay hot longer. So... You put in like 212 degree like coffee <laughs> as opposed to like 190 or whatever on purpose because you're trying to get it to stay hotter longer. You do not have need to do that mm -hmm. because what will happen is you will open the item that is now hotter than you really want it to be. And then you'll attempt to try to take a drink and you'll either scald yourself or you'll, you know, have to like continuously try to get it to cool off. And the thing is, it doesn't cool like usual. So, you know, yeah, it's not a slow, it's not a slow, like it's not a fast cooling. Like you have, right. you're going to have to, you know, pour that in a cup. And if it's too hot, you're going to have to separate it. <laughs> Which some people are good with. I mean, that's something mm -hmm. you could do. You know, if you're a person who likes to, you know, out of a out of a mug instead of out of a thermos, you could easily do that. I think this, like, lip edge is perfect, you know, to help with that. Um, yeah, and then you could, you know, keep it hot in here while it cools off in your, your mug or glass or whatever. So, yeah. Um, yeah, somebody made a wisecrack like as I had this the other day and I took it to work or whatever. And somebody said something about is, is that is that where you put your special stuff? <laughs> Which I took to be like, you know, like you've added some, you know, whiskey, scotch, you know, whatever mm -hmm. to get you through the day. And I was like, no, it's just tea. It's just tea. <laughs> just tea. But yeah, so um, that's that's my one thing. So if you're a person who likes to keep a beverage hot or definitively cold like that might be something to to consider so
you want Anyways. to keep that milkshake, you know, nice and frosty. Well, you know, I don't know. It could be, you know, a hot day, you know, and you want to like, you know, make a chai latte something or whatever, mm-hmm. you know, and take it with you, you know, on a picnic. I don't know. Anyways. Ice cold lemonade. Mm-hmm. All right. Bourbon <laughs> slash. I, I, I had to click over to the uh, Zurichi uh, uh, actual store on on there, and I found out that they have rice cookers too. Mm. Which they I'm, do. I'm they... in the market for one. Like it's not high priority because I can the way I currently make rice works perfectly fine, and and I haven't really had any problems. But I would right. like to have something where I don't have to like think about it as much. Um, mm. so they've got a boatload of different types of rice cookers. Um, Neat. Uh, I only need like the three cup, like simple <laughs> one. I, I don't need anything yeah. fancy. So I'm like, oh, add that to my wish list. But yeah, if, if, the, if the only problem I have is I don't have any different colors because I would like to have a red one, but that's, that's like a thing. But well, yeah, I mean, there's all different kinds of like you know whether they're powder coated like this like this is just a flat uh mm-hmm. black matte um color but they do have like stainless steel uh, uh, there's like an emerald kind of red color there's like a sapphire kind of blue color they have some in patterns um mm-hmm. and they do come in a couple different sizes mm-hmm. i think there might be like a 12 ounce of 16 and then depending on the color maybe or the version there might be like a um uh a 20 or something like that in terms of size but keep, keep so, in mind kids these are probably not dishwashable um you know they might I have the inner have... part or something but definitely I... not the outer uh, i doubt I they are because I, I think i saw something similar to to those and i was re- looking through the amazon comments and people were complaining about the fact that that some of the the paint was shipping off or something like that and i'm like mm. i'm like uh let's see oh it doesn't say anything about me <laughs> she won't <laughs> well, I will say, I will say this because I don't have a dishwasher. I don't think about such things. But it doesn't take much to clean. Like it's really easy, um, you know. Then I've even like removed the nipple, like this rubber, you know, gasket nipple piece in the top that helps seal it, you know, and then just let it, you know, wash it dry and put it back together. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think it doesn't take very much to. To be able to do that. And especially like if you're the type of person that remembers, you know, at least rinse it. Do you know what I mean? Like if you're not gonna wash mm-hmm. it and it's gonna sit with some stuff, like just you know, just take it Give apart, a run a little water over it, it'll be fine. Yeah. All right. Uh Jeff, your next item. Uh so mine actually I should probably bring a prop. Uh oh, you have a prop? Oh prop. This is a oh. general category of things. Mine ah. is specifically something that uh, uh, was uh, uh, purchased and is sports related, but it doesn't necessarily need to be. But one of my favorite things this year has been fleece blanket uh, throw blankets. Mm-hmm. So it, it's just like the the comfy sweatshirt. It, it's stuff to kind of keep you warm and cozy because they they're just really soft. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And I suppose these probably don't keep you as warm as the comfy. But if you're not necessarily looking for that or you want to just have something that just kind of like throw over your legs or something like that and don't really need that like overall heat or anything, then right. it's this. So uh, last, last Christmas, um, I that does not count it against Womp Whamageddon, by the way. I just want to say that. So all you who... <laughs> yeah. nice. Joining me in the fleece uh, uh, throw blanket or... Yeah. 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 So... I... Wait. So do all three of us have fleece like throws? On like... now? Yeah. Because here's the thing. <laughs> so wait, let me... I'm gonna... <laughs> this is just this. I just got this in the mail as a gift. And let me find, yeah, um, and it's embroidered, not that you guys can really see, um, with our logo. So oh. uh, 
the company I work for um, is owned and operated by a disabled vet. And so they are very uh, much a part of like veterans groups and support and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. everything it revolves around that. So as an example, the the fleece is digital camo. Um, ah. And then and this was part of our our part of our gifts as employment this year. Everybody got a gift pack that was sent to them by mail. Um, USPS one day delivery, which is a little pricey, uh, locally. And then this fleece was inside of it. We got a coffee mug. We got a chocolate bar from a local chocolatier. And then we got these uh, commemoration coins um, with the logo and stuff on it. Um, uh, servicing disabled uh, veteran small owned businesses. Um, so, like, and we also got uh, a cash bump in our paycheck on Friday. Okay. Nice. And, and Mr. D, the owner said, since we weren't able to have a holiday party this year where they cater everything, um, you know, it's not a big, big deal, but, you know, it's, you know, enough for a lunchtime meal. And everybody gets gifts, but it's less stuff. This mm -hmm. year they were like, we're going to send a bunch of shit to your home and then we're going to give you like a little cash bonus. And I was like, all right, for a part time job. Not bad. <laughs> yeah. They ain't so bad at how they operate. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. So Sorry. I I put a link the link that I'm going to have in the show notes is uh, an Amazon link. By the way, all these Amazon links I am purposely going in here and trying to make sure that it's a smile Amazon link. Cool. Um, okay. And, and if for some reason some of my links are not taking you to smile.amazon.com, make sure to just replace in the URL smile, and that means any of your purchases you made while you're under smile.amazon.com goes to a charity of your choice. Or has uh, yeah. the money that goes there. So, um, yeah. So just to to keep that in mind. But um, yeah, I think mine actually didn't do that, so I'm gonna have to fix it. That's uh, fine though. That's okay. It's, uh, but it, but this is taking you to to fleece throw blankets. Technically, I would say fleece blankets in general because I also have uh, as the, you know, you got you got bed sheets. Then you have the the duvet or comf comforter Comfort. on top, mm -hmm. but in between you throw in a blanket. In this case, mm -hmm. or at least that's how I do it. I don't know, I remember, whatever. Um, <laughs> I like also I like that blanket part of it to be a fleece blanket, so I also have have one of those. Uh -huh. So it's really kind of more about about general fleece blankets. Right. I just like fleece blankets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I have. I'm thinking. I've got one on my lap, <laughs> and <laughs> uh, I think three in the closet for the bedroom. One in the ottoman next to the couch. One on top of the couch. Yeah, I think weird. that's all of them. I don't know. So I probably got like like eight, ten of them. <laughs> yeah. All right, um, I'm gonna have to give you the short link because uh, it's going to a category that's on there. It's not allowing me to do the full link, so. Okay. But well, I have I have at least three of these because there's this one here. There's another one on the couch. There's actually one that I got for the office because I was noticing again my office is surprisingly cooler than the rest of the house, and I think it's because a couple of the vents in there are covered by bookcases or furniture or something like that. I don't know, but anyway. Um, and then I know we have, we got, um, so there's two in the office. I keep forgetting. Cause there's a Jim like years ago, got us both these, um, like for the bed, these, um, um, Sherpa line fleece throw blankets that, uh, we use, we use it upstairs for the, the king size bed. Cause it is massive. Um, and it's on the bed in the office. There's a twin bed in the office. That's my old bed. Um, so it's on there just kind of as like a blanket. So I love, like, I love, I love throws because they're just, they're perfect because I can just literally wrap this around me and I, I'm good or I can put it on my legs if they're cold. Mm -hmm. um, now my, now my legs are feeling cold. I mean, like, uh... Go grab your other one, like grab another one. <laughs> <laughs> Cover yourself in blankets. Yeah, see, uh, 
got another one. Okay. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> my legs. Uh, yeah, last last year because I. Oh shit! I think I'm plugged. Continue my 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 headset unplugged. Oh, okay. <laughs> David, what's uh your pick? Um, oh, well, speaking of like comfortable and and being um comfy, um, I actually got this I think last year uh, um for my mom. It is either a birthday or a school birthday. It may have been birthday cake or Christmas or any other. But this is uh, from kingsize.com, which is a plus size clothing for men um, site. And they have these Karen Velour hooded maxi robes. Um, and it is a, it is essentially a big fucking robe uh, with a hood. And oh my God. <laughs> Do I love this robe? Um, like I would, I, I use it in the morning. Um, I've, I've put it on, like thrown it on when I've come down the steps to like, you know, do something early. Um, I, if, if I didn't like want to not wear it, like I, I've tried to like not wear it a whole lot because if I wear it all the time, it's going to get like, I'm going to have to like, eh, it, it'll lose to me. It'll lose that allure, but I fucking love it. Um, it is huge, um, and it is long. Um, like it actually, I believe, comes to my ankle, like lengthwise, if not like right above it. Um, and the reason I know that is because I have to hold it when I come down the steps, <laughs> because if I don't, it'll. <laughs> go under sometimes go under me and I'll yeah. Kind of, kind of, but kind of like is... somebody uh, like some of those uh long dresses that that uh people wear and and they have yeah. to like as they're walking down they kind of uh, uh lift up the front of the dress. Hike it up just a little bit. Yeah, exactly. I yeah, I have I love it. Um the one I have is multicolor like it's the striped one, but as I went to the website they have several different colors solid colors um and it's yeah it's great it has pockets that's the favorite part it's got these big ass pockets yeah i couldn't i it, it's just great it's just great like i can't like say anything else um you know if robes aren't your thing um try this one because kind of like like um Ooh, her, her, her wrong. Gary's like surfa, like comfy. This is kind of that. It's just except it's a robe and it goes around you. It's so cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you can feel bougie yeah, yeah, yeah. too. Mm hmm. The minute I took it out, Jim wanted one, and I thought about getting him one, but they're they are a little pricey. I will say that much. Um, although they're on sale right now, apparently. So there's that. Um, and they go up to 8XL. Wow. So there you go. Oh, these jackets look cool, too. Sorry. I, <laughs> end up, I, I, I end up going to these sites and then I, like, click through the other things, too. And... Yeah. yeah like so the there Boulder you go. Creek fleece lined parka with detachable hood and six pockets. <laughs> Yes, I am adding this to my gift registry. Right. <laughs> well, there you go, Gary. Um, so uh, this item uh actually is related to the second one, um, because I liked the thermos so much. Uh, over a year ago. Um, when I started what used to be uh, my full-time job, it's now my part-time job, I wanted something that I could take to work that would um, keep food hot or cold. Um, mm. So I, I, was, I had this like weird thing like, why do we not have 
thermoses but bigger for hot food like it was just this weird concept to me that like you know we didn't have anything like that so anyways i went online and started looking around um and i plugged in zojirushi's name um and lo and behold they have variables of this kind of a thing um and so they call this the mr bento lunch jar so i'll explain a couple of things one it comes with a lovely canvas bag um to hold things in it also comes with its own metal spork and a little protective mm. clasp to keep it clean um and it's got a drawstring and a zipper on it some little pockets and then this is the actual like thermos um oh. and i'll show you how it comes apart so it snaps the top and then this is just the lid but could be used as a bowl Okay. And then there are like four it. compartments in here. Oh. So there's this size. Um, it might say on the bottom. Oh, I can't read any of that. Okay. Um, <laughs> as to the size. But anyways, it's got a nice, you know, kind of Tupperware style seal. So there's that size. Then there's this size, which is a little wider. Um, so it holds a little bit more in volume. And then there are the bottom two. So this one here happens to be um, kind of considered the main compartment. And then you uh, grab it, turn it a quarter, and then can put things in it. Um, so, and then the very bottom one actually has a gasket seal uh, mechanism for it. So, and it allows, if you have something that would need to, um, you know, let some pressure off or whatever, this would be the one that you would use. So they go in a specific order, but the one thing I want to tell everybody, like, while I love this thing and I do take it to work with me and stuff, um, and then you can kind of have a little bit of different things. So, like, if you wanted to have, like, fruit or vegetables in one, like, I used to do, like, carrots and celery and uh, dressing um, for dipping kind of stuff in that. Um, the thing that I wanted to heat would be this. So the thing I will say is that it doesn't divide hot or cold. So, like, if you want to put everything the same in here, so everything's either hot or everything's not hot. Um, mm -hmm. meaning cold. So, like, if you had, like, salad and some other stuff that you wanted to keep cold, then whatever your main item is, like, if you were going to put it in here, then this would just be cold, and then you could just obviously heat it up, um, and everything else, like, stays the same. But because it's the same company, it's kind of the same technology of stuff that they use, um, and it works really well. And they have some different models of this. Like, this is a four-compartment. I think they have a three-compartment and a five compartment version as well um mm. so but i've had this thing for almost two years now and it's been really handy when i have stuff that i've made at home that i want to take um and it's just kind of all together in yeah. that. and yeah. I, one of the things i'm like i'm looking at their the, the page um there's the four is, is 6.8 ounces 9.5 10.1 and 15.2 um I, I'm happy that they're all microwavable and 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 it says easy to clean and all that stuff. I'm like, that's kind of cool because then, like you said, if you just wanted to like maybe bring something cold, like cool, and then heat it up, you can do that too. Right. You know. Or if you were, if you wanted stuff to be hot, then like... Um, just realize that all the things that you're going to be put in here are going to be affected by the heat. Like the one thing it, it kind of explains, which makes sense, is because it's just one container. You don't put hot stuff and cold stuff in here because your hot stuff will cool down and your cold stuff will get warm. Mm -hmm. um, like, like it's just the job. It's kind it's of just like dynamics. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, gonna, it's, so, it's yeah, like go it's, to a temperature, and that temperature is going to be the same throughout. So. Right. <laughs> I mean, they do actually have, like, more, like, what we can kind of consider as, like, a, a regular thermos uh, product. Um, like Jeff said, you know, they do have rice cookers, bread makers, coffee, like, all sorts of stuff. Um, but, yeah, so because I liked this one, my second one, the thermos so much, um, I got the lunch kind of deal. And I will say, and I take this to work and people see it, um, if people haven't seen it before, I usually get, like, a little bit of, like, a watch and then some of the times people will be like, that's pretty cool. Because <laughs> I'd never seen anything like that before that was like compartmentalized within a thermos and you just kind of like, bup, 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 you know, like could mix things up that way. So like if you had a dish that was like with rice 
or noodles or whatever, you could put those in one of the containers. You could put the sauce in a separate container. You know what I mean? Like if you're going to, yeah. you know, and you want it to be a little bit more fresh when you prepare to eat it. Mm-hmm. But, so yeah, the, the one on the very bottom is the best for soup um, because of that gasket seal. Um, but uh, you just kind of like take your pick from stuff. So, but mm-hmm. I, and I don't use it that much, honestly, during the summer. Cause I think of it more for retaining heat. Um, uh, so it just kind of de- depends. Actually, honestly, if I have leftovers. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Now that we're back to that time of year and this is getting a workout pretty much every workday, then um, that kind of tags along. Nice. Yeah, and they got very, various things. Nice. Nice and neat. All right. So continuing on the food uh, uh, thing. Uh I uh, am providing a link to uh, another category because I couldn't <laughs> pick like just one because depending on what you're trying to to, to make with it, uh, you may need a different type of dish. Um, so it's supposed to be the bakers and casseroles section, but for some reason it's mm-hmm. just ended up with bakers. But specifically casserole dishes. Because mm-hmm. uh-huh. I've been making a lot of casseroles. And mainly because it's one of my favorite foods is casseroles. Um, just because you can make a, a nice big thing. It's an all-in-one thing. So easy easy peasy, lemon squeezy uh, uh, to make. So uh, having a, a good casserole dish, I've got like a couple Pyrex ones. But, you know, there's different types of things. Um, yeah. And it's just, I like casseroles. So I suppose I probably could have linked to a casserole, but I want to be general in this case. Mm-hmm. And, and getting the, the, the bakers and casseroles. Yeah, it's as simple as that. Well, I mean, I, I understand that because you you tend to, what it seems like to me, what I'm noticing from you is you'll make a casserole, like say Sunday, Monday, whatever, and you have it for a few days. Like mm-hmm. it's your meals for the for the week almost. Um, well, for two or three days. Yeah, two or three days. You know, like a you know, you know I, like great. my my mac and cheese casserole. I'm not even sure if it will last a day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, like that's cool. Like Jim has made a few things here and there. Um, like he'll do a Frito pie. Um, are um, he's ma- well, he actually, you know, recently he didn't wasn't for us, but he made it for friends. Um, a chicken casserole. Um, he used rotisserie chicken, um, not rotisserie chicken, I think he used like fried, like the store bought, like, like chicken, like big, like thing of chicken, and cut it all up and put it in with like some like cream mushroom soup and some um noodles and and pasta, and then um, made a casserole for a friend of ours. Um, it's a great, like, quick, like you said, quick and easy, you know, thing, and you can make it and have it several days, and it still be satisfying, because usually and the usually thing about a casserole is that the flavors can, yeah, it's easily reheatable, but also the, the, the flavors are meant to blend together. Like, it's not a, like, layer dip or a, 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 um... You know, something along those lines. I mean, like a lasagna maybe could kind of follow along those lines, but you know, it's it's meant to be safe. It's not meant to be like I want this flavor only. It's a here's all the flavors, mash up together, put it in your mouth, you'll love it. Yeah. By the way, I, I replaced the link. It should be a better link now. Okay. Yeah, because I put in casserole dishes and I got some really neat ones. Huh. But okay. It, it, there's different times, and depending on the type you, type of casserole you're making, sometimes you want a round one. Sometimes, sometimes the recipe mm-hmm. calls for nine by thirteen, which is mm-hmm. usually pretty standard. And a lot of them will will co- come with lids. Some of them will come with a plastic lid, so it's not meant to cook the lid with the lid mm-hmm. on in those cases. But it's good for like transportation or uh, storage and just making sure that's covered. So yeah. And then in different materials, etc. It's a variety. All right, to wrap this whole thing up, uh, Damon, 
That's the last <laughs> one. <laughs> I, just, I just read it. We can't hear you, Gary. Damn it. I was saying, are you ready to tell us your last favorite thing of this <laughs> year? Sure, I will. Um, so, 2020 has been a year, right? Like, let's just, let's just put that out there, you know, um, quarantining, self-isolating, y- you've been by yourself. You're, 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 you know, alone. If you're, if you, I mean, granted, yes, I have a partner and I live, we live together, but you know, you're alone. Um, <laughs> so this is, actually, it's not a funny story, but, um, I actually found this through a friend on Twitter um, um, and I'm just going to go ahead and say what it is because I'm not going to piss fit around with it. Um, this is the dual motors vibrating penis cock ring. Um, and a friend of mine recommended it on his Twitter. Um, but he recommended it as just like, like a actually around the balls kind of thing to just like, um, and I was like, that's, very interesting and i saw it and he had a picture of his you know because it's twitter his junk with it on and i'm like oh that's really interesting i was concerned about the size because it is a um metal ring not a metal ring it's it's a soft ring but it doesn't have any give it's very solid um be right back hold on So are we help getting a demonstration? Me. So help me, David turns this into Pee Wee's Playhouse, and like we get a a a, 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 a show and tell moment of the product. There it is. Here, 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 we oh, here we go. There we go. <laughs> so um yeah, so let's just pull it out and show. Um, so this is it. <laughs> it's. Obviously, not very large in the center. Not doesn't have a large circumference, but it is essentially a vibrating cock ring, and you can put it on. And not only is is it does it vibrate on its own, it also comes with a remote. So you have ten settings, ten vibrations. Um, I got this and tried it like within like a day, a day or so and um holy fucking shit it's amazing um, <laughs> so you know we're all you know we're it's 2020 you you're you're you know you shouldn't you should be really careful about playing with others you know COVID and all that stuff so i've been looking for like things to do to, to just to be honest to pleasure myself, because you know, if you can't be with somebody else, you might as well pleasure yourself. So that's kind of been this journey. And when I saw this, I thought, okay, that's a really cool idea. I went and got it, and um, it's great. I-, I love it. Like it's, I I I don't want to like go too much in detail, but it gets the job done. Let's just put it out there. <laughs> um, um, it is. A very intense vibration. Yes. Um, That's also... So I'm looking through the stuff listed on the the webpage, and it's, you know, very quiet but still powerful. Dual motors with wireless remote control. You have two options. You could use it alone, or you could use it with the remote control. And they Mm -hmm. don't say, like... They like to me. I think it's kind of inferred that you could give the remote control to somebody else, but my thought is, True. I think there's, I think there's going to be a limit. Like you know, they can't be you know like at work or something. Yeah, you have you have to be within in the room, I would assume. Um, but it 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 lasts a while. Um, it's easy to with the remote. You can turn it on and turn it off really easily. You have to have it on first, and then you have to, then you can turn on the remote. In order for it to work, um, um, it is. I would not say it is quiet. 
Like, I will give you that much right now. It is not, like, whisper quiet. If you're in a room and there's nothing else on, you will hear this. <laughs> like, like, like let's, just, let's just be honest. Exactly. Oh, David froze. Or did everybody freeze? Did I lose you? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. Skype, what did you do? Your internet's fine. Yeah, like exactly. Like, okay. okay. Maybe we're cutting up. Hello? What was Welcome back. Okay. There, there was like I'm here. There was like a, a minute or two or three where uh all of a sudden everything froze on uh on Skype. And just ah. as I finished putting in Skype go crashy crash. <laughs> you guys <laughs> came back. Oh good. Um well anyway, as I was saying, let me just see if you can <laughs> can you hear it yeah yeah i can hear it. yeah but it is it is very powerful i will give it that much and um oh no skype <laughs> boop boop, boop, boop. Fucking Skype. I think this is the end of the show, anyways. But it's very powerful and remote controlled. And uh, yeah. Boy, it feels really lonely when this happens. So. But at least if any say the people are, are, are watching the show, uh, yeah. I, I at this point I'm not sure how this works. Uh, I'm gonna actually uh, disconnect from the call. <laughs> and we're, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try that again. Maybe this is working. We got a Gary. Hey. Hey, welcome back. <laughs> Apparently, Skype does not want me to talk about this rig. <laughs> I think we got the gist of it. It is too powerful. <laughs> it is too powerful. It is too much, but I, it, it's great. I will give it that much. And I, you know, I highly recommend it. Here we go. And that was sort of the point, you know, mm -hmm. little something extra for your evening or morning or afternoon or whatever pleasure. And the only thing I would like to eventually try, cause I'm very curious is once COVID is done, and we can, you know, start meeting people regularly again. I am very curious to see how this feels for someone else. Mm. And, and then, the, then you be controlling it while it's while it's happening. Yeah, I mean, whatever, you know. <laughs> well, I, I mean, that is one of one of the conveniences is that if it is being worn, uh, you know, while having fun with somebody else. You could give them the remote, and then they can go through the patterns or whatever. So, mm -hmm. and then, then the fun part of tying somebody up and uh, 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 making it so that somebody else is in control of it, and they can't touch themselves—that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. And it, 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 yeah, it, it. I'll 
it's fine. I'll just leave it at that. Like it, it's fun ring. I'm glad my friend endorsed it. Uh, unfortunately, what it has meant uh, <laughs> is I sometimes get recommendations for other things. Thanks, Amazon. Uh, I do like how how in the uh, at the bottom of the description they do have a link to the uh, silicone uh, dual penis ring with ribbed G spot teaser, mm. which looks interesting <laughs> to say the least. In any case, um, yeah. Uh, if you follow Boating Rob on Twitter. Um, he wasn't the one that recommended this, but he also has been recommending a lot of other toys. Um, so follow him because I mean he's hot as well. So <laughs> sorry. Yes. The reason I'm laughing is so I'm on Amazon and I like uh, decided for a whim. I added this to a, a private wish list, um, mm -hmm. and I was going through like what's on the wish list. And it's you know things you know from years ago and friend thing gifts for friends and stuff anyways i go all the way to the bottom <laughs> end of list and then it says inspired by your list adult toy adult toy adult toy adult toy adult. Like, <laughs> exactly what you were saying david it's like oh now suddenly yep. even though only one item out of like over two dozen and it's the most mm -hmm. recent oh now apparently my lists are were are uh skewed to that Got it. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Samson. Yeah. All right. You're great. I guess my folks, I think All that's right. the end. <laughs> You're welcome for that titillation. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Anyway. Yeah. Moving on. Uh, and 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 they do demonstrate that they it can apparently it can be useful in the tits, but anyways, moving on. Find ways to contact us. Puffer for our website comes out. <laughs> Com shits an email and comes out at gmail. <laughs> voicemail six here otherwise three six one to see all talk that's three six one two six five eight two five five. Uh sorry <laughs> seeing Dean and breaking up is breaking me up. You can find us on various social media outlets at Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, and YouTube at comes out loud the appropriate place of the URL. You can join us in the entourage chat at tinyurl.com slash uh telegram dash C O L uh, if you want to subscribe to our calendar to find out when we're recording these shows, you can pop over to uh, tinyurl.com slash calendar dash col. That's a Google calendar that takes you to. You can get merchandise such as this version one t-shirt. Yeah, I'm going going old school. Um, as well as plenty of other other merchandise over at zazzle.com slash cubs out loud. Or again, go to your localization for cheaper shipping and Probably faster, too. Uh, if you would like to, you can also uh, subscribe to us via Patreon at patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud, where you get, uh, as the podcast, and a link to the VOD of the original uh, recording. Um, that's at patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud. Uh, do you see a trend here? Um, if you would like to send us some cash, see if we could do some improvements, such as uh, getting me a green screen. I would love to have that, because I think that would just make my background look better. Uh yeah, because I'm a little bit of a slob. Anyways, uh, that's at uh, paypal.me slash Cubs Out Loud. Uh, if you would like to, uh, if you can um, rate us on Apple Podcasts, subscribe to us Google Play Podcasts in Spotify and Amazon and Audible, which I think are linked because I only need to do one submission for those. Uh, you can also uh, find me anywhere in the internet as box, 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 Puppy Box Cub Box, something or other, and over on Twitch at Windgem, W Y N D G E M, where mm -hmm. I'm doing a bit more streaming because uh, I'm, I'm excited for Shadowlands and playing a lot of WoW and streaming some of it. And of course, uh, Bears and Dragons uh, uh, on Sunday mornings. Before we record this show, Damon. Mm -hmm. If you wish to get in touch with me, you can find me as Pup. Oh, Theater Cup 79 on most bear related sites are on Facebook. Or you can find me as Pup underscore Umbra on Twitter. Under Twitter is definitely not safe for work, considering what I just talked about. <laughs>
<laughs> if you would like to get in touch with me, you can pretty much find me anywhere online as Gare Bear 73 And uh, with that, I, I'm going to uh, share my sound and then say good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Ciao for now.